This is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It's Arsenal. They face Manchester City and it's live right here on EA TV. Well, it's always a great privilege to be coming to you from the home of football. We're at Wembley Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And with the league season about to begin, we have action coming up from the curtain raiser, the Community Shield. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, the Community Shield is always an interesting game just to see how these two teams are progressing. What might the coaches do differently? Are the players fit enough? And will they be challenging for silverware once again this year? And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And this confrontation is underway. And it's Gabriel Jesus. It is a decent looking attack here. Xhaka. On to Jorginho. Now able to close down the short. And with that, the attack fizzles out. De Bruyne. Now with Mares. Rodri. Losing possession here. Granit Xhaka. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. This is looking threatening. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted, and I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Gundogan.
And he takes it away. In with a chance. Oh, yes! One nil it is. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Well, here's another look. And you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. On they go again. A wake-up call for the City players, maybe. Can they find a response now? Gabriel Martinelli. Really a very poor ball. Jack Grealish. I must say, this looks promising. But they dealt with the threat posed. Gabriel Martinelli. No space for them here. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he'd been warned before, and now he's been booked. And he's under big pressure now. He's going to have to tread really carefully here. Pumps clear. Gabriel Jesus. Well, goodness me. Into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Rodri. The ball with Rodri. Considerable progress made by Gundogan as the attack continues. Mares, simple save really. Well, I have to say, I've been disappointed with Atleti's attack in play. They just haven't played with any intensity. Mind you, they are still in this one. Xhaka, good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And it's Gabriel Jesus. The ball with Rodri. Mares. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Riyad Mares. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And the referee's whistle, we've reached the halfway point here at Wembley Stadium. The ball is moving again. City trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. They need to get bodies back. In behind for him to chase. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Diesch.
Holland. Plenty of support here. Holland. Gunduan. Back to Holland. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Martin Odegaard. Losing possession. Gundogan. Oh, good looking run. Gundogan! And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Substitution for Manchester City, coming off the pitch, number 10, Jack Grealish, to be replaced by... Mares. Mares! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal, mind you, it's a brilliant save. They favoured a short one here. Determined defending. Into the final 20 minutes. Manuel Akanji. On to Hornan. Foden. And the keeper's in trouble. Well, a chip that went awry well maybe it was the right option but his technique let him down there well I don't like criticising players for missing chances but today I have to say City shooting has been really poor will they come to regret it? that's the big question and struggling even to just get hold of the ball here a quarter of an hour remaining here. Foden. It's a promising City move. Ronaldo Silva. And just slightly offside. Kevin De Bruyne and City on the front foot near the end of this contest still level here but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Thomas Partey Martinelli promising sequence 
A perfectly taken corner could make all the difference in this game. This one for Arsenal. A change of the offing for City. They're going for the short one. Cross blocked. And a good take under duress there. Out of play, City throw. That's useful play. Holland just made sure nothing came of that. Oh, he's gone for goal. And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. Who can he pick out? Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, the... and he's beaten the keeper. He scored in the bottom corner. Can he remain calm? And just like that, he's come up with the save. And it's gone in. Can he get the better of the keeper? And he scores! Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he steps up to take his penalty. In it goes! And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. So much on the line with regard to this penalty. And he finds the net, he could hardly miss. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. He's gambled on direction and won. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. Now it's over, and the celebrations can begin. Well, they probably just about deserved it, didn't they? Overall, they were the best team. Scenes of jubilation here. They'll be hoping for bigger and better in the near future, but they're certainly going to enjoy this moment for now. Well, winning becomes a habit, and I think they showed a lot of character here today. They're a tough team to beat, that's for sure. And he's denied them from the spot. Well, here it is again. He makes it look so easy. The keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side. Really confident finish. First piece of silverware. And that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, it's great preparation for the season, Derek. And this is always a nice moment, going up to lift any trophy. Great for those fans as well. Now for the trophy lift. And with friends and family in attendance, you've always got to really savour these moments when they come around, Stuart. Well, they've got to enjoy this, Derek, and then get ready for a tough season ahead. They won't be celebrating too much tonight. Absolutely, Stuart. They all know the show must go on after this.
And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. Well, these are great moments, aren't they? Certainly ones to cherish, and they'll want more of this come the end of the season.